Good morning, loves. It's your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministry. Today is Thursday, um, February 17th. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with that. 2022, how's everyone on this morning? Guys, I had to come on here real quick. I promise you, this video, well, all my videos are pretty much quick, right? Um, but I had to come on here because I've be cracking up sometime even at myself right about people being in denial about things and it's okay like things don't work out it don't make you less than a woman or less than a man because things don't work out right okay so, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you for this great day that you woke us up on this morning to give you um, praise and honor and glory. All do your name, God. We just want to say thank you. Please forgive us for our sins, our trespasses, and our shortcomings on things that we do today that is not pleasing to you, God. God, our desire is more of you, God, to seek your face and the truth and to walk in it. Not just know it, but to walk in it. God, we just thank you. Overtake this live, God. Give your, give your people clarity to understand the newness of you that we need to walk in God to be set free, delivered, and made whole in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, forgive me for um this shaking because I'm driving and it's in a holder. So, <laughs> guys, I was so let me just say this. Let me let me talk about me first, right? But so many of y'all do this. Let me tell you something. I'm so not in denial. Okay. So we have this habit of, right, because the narcissists discard us and they deal with the new supply, as in narcissistic language terms, the new supply, right? So when the narcissists come back to us or they're in a relationship with the new supply and they come to us and they tell us like, you know, she not you, um... You know, you better than her. I miss you. Um, this, this, and that. And then we seem to get like big headed because the narcissist that cheated on us or that was already messing with the new supply and discarded us for the new supply tell us we are better than the new supply. They miss us. She not you. He's not you. But yet they still with the new supply. Let me tell you guys something. Don't, don't, first of all, don't believe it. And don't get big headed thinking that that demon mean what he say. My, my best friend, right, always got to say, because when I would catch the narcissist, he would end up dissing the person that he cheated on me with or call them or something like that to make it seem like oh it ain't nothing it's this and that and my best friend would tell me well he had to love you because every time he was caught out there um he he admitted the truth let's wind up let's wind backwards what y'all think the key word in that was i'm gonna give you a second one two Exactly. Every time he was caught out there. Why are you cheating on me, you narcissistic fool? Why would I feel... What, what is the word privileged that you, because you caught, you and, and, and you caught a girl and tell... The narcissist even one time told one girl that was in his house in his bed Oh, don't talk a telling her. Oh, don't look at her like that. Don't look at Tammy like that because you knew about her. You knew that I, I, I love her. That, bruh, sis, that is not brownie points. That is foolishness. I do not dare put myself on a pedestal to feel like um the narcissist love me better than he did the person that he cheated on me with guys we are all the same there is no love nowhere the narcissist cannot love so stop feeling like this oh he did that to her um 
but he didn't do that to me. So maybe he took you shopping and didn't take her shopping. Stop feeling superior because he took you shopping and didn't take her shopping or him shopping. And now you feel like, oh, I wouldn't take that. Yes, you would because you took more other stuff. Because guess what? Some of you guys took stuff that I could say I wouldn't take and I went through things that you probably say that you wouldn't take but however we went through some stuff that basically broke us down so stop measuring what the narcissist didn't do to somebody else or did do to somebody else and didn't do to you as if you're better we're not better we were all victims and the narcissists treat each person according to their personality. So yeah, no sis, no bruh, you wasn't better. Stop being in denial and letting the narcissist lie to you. Talk about some he miss you, you better than her. But yet he's still in her bed. Yet he's still claiming her. Yet he's still with her. Stop feeling like you're better. No, we, we're not better. We are all the same. The narcissist can't love. And the narcissist is going to treat everybody according. He's going to tell you things to stroke your ego and trust you me. The new supply, the old supply, because they always triangulate and always going to cheat. They're going to tell the next person um, stuff about you. And they're saying to the other person to get them back. Oh, I miss you. Oh, you, you are better than her. Oh, you this. Oh, you that. So stop trying to big yourself up as if you're, you was better than the other person. No, because the other person, oh, he smacked her. Oh, he wouldn't do that to me because I wouldn't take it. But sis, but bruh, you took that he cheated on you. You took that you caught him with girls. You took that you caught him with other guys. You took that he verbally abused you. You took that he called you fat or skinny and, and, and made you have low self-esteem. So stop comparing yourself as if you're better because he may have smacked the new supply and didn't smack you. How about this? He just didn't get around to smacking you yet. I'm not in denial that the narcissist treated me like crap. I could care less because you know why I'm out and, and I'm still that chick and I'm still a whole woman and I should not have dealt with him anyway. So I'm not going to even say I got what I deserve, but God warned me and I didn't pay attention because my flesh wanted what I, what I wanted and I paid for it. I don't think nobody, um, can say that they're better than me. I don't care. And the narcissist has a thing of doing this to belittle the new person that he's with. I'm talking about the narcissist that I dealt with. He make them look bad after he break them down by showing them pictures of me, telling them how much he still loved me, um, only to make them feel bad. Sis, bruh, no, he don't. He don't love me, and he never loved me. Um, he can't even love. Demons can't love. And I tried to love him, um, but you can't love a demon. You can't. So they try to, and then the new supply and everybody else that he's dealing with, he calls them to compare themselves to me. But guess what, sis? Guess what, bro? Let me tell you this. Had I been looking broke, busted, and disgusted, he would not have used me to compare because he would have felt like, oh yeah, I made her go crazy. Like I'm going to make you go crazy. Everybody can't handle the narcissist that demon and nobody should not have to this is why i'm saying i don't do um narcissistic recovery coaching to help you stay no but to help you build yourself up and so you can see how you deserve to be treated and then you decide if you want to leave or not i don't teach you how to stay with satan stop comparing yourself because he did something to her and you calling him or her stupid for staying when he did stuff to you and you stayed 
and, and that was stupid things that was hurtful he belittled you he embarrassed you he some of the, some of y'all he slept with y'all friends and family members and, and, and was coming on to people right in front of your face just because he did not smack you or trip you or something i don't know don't make you better than the other person that don't make you better. Stop comparing yourself to boost your own self up. My thing is this, to thy own self be true. If you want to get back with the narcissist, you get back with the narcissist. But don't get back with the narcissist as if you're better than a new supply because you're not. Because he's going to make them go crazy just like he made you go crazy. And if you go back... And even if you're creeping with the narcissist, why he got somebody else, sis, bruh, he's going to make belittle you. He just needs you because narcissists, that demon need to feed on flesh. That demon need to feed on your soul. So stop comparing yourself as if you're better. Anybody that deal with a narcissist is not better than the next person. Anybody that deal with a narcissist is not better than the new supply. I don't care how much he come and tell you and lie. Oh, I miss you. Oh, you wouldn't have never took me through this. Oh, she is this. Oh, she don't understand me like you do. Those are all lies. Those are all lies to finish you off. Those are all lies. Oh, he he wouldn't have never did. He wouldn't have never did this. Oh, because and this is for the um for the uh, men with the women. Oh, she wouldn't. Have, she um she don't listen to me. You listen to me. Uh, and for the men. Um, and for the women. Yeah. Um, with, with, for a, a woman with a man. Uh, and the narcissist coming back telling you, oh, yeah, she don't cook. She don't clean. She don't do this. I be telling her, you know, um, you're neat. She's not neat. Ne stop feeling, stop feeling um, um, superior that this narcissist is coming back telling you she don't clean up or he don't clean up. And you ain't never see these people house. Why do we feel like because we like somebody we go against what they say about somebody else because remember you was that saying you was once the new supply too stop forgetting that guys i'm telling you when i was doing a coaching the other day the, the the young lady came to me and she was like i don't understand why he just won't leave me alone um he cheated on me and i took him back you know and 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 I said, and I was typing, and I said, I was telling her, like, trust me, I can multitask. I am a great multitasker. I'm not missing a beat and listening to what you're saying. I hear you. So after she got finished saying that all of that and going off, and I don't know, and he's stalking me, and, and he just won't leave me alone, and this, this, and that. And, and I said, well, what is the key word in what you just said? And she sat back and thought, and she said, she had to laugh and say, Oh, that he cheated on me and I took him back. So, sis, why won't you think? Why, I, if I was a narcissist, I wouldn't leave you alone. And then she said this. Now she she came to me uh, ranting and raving about how he won't leave her alone. But you just cashed at him $50, sis. So he bought you a Valentine's Day gift with the money that you gave him, sis. And you posted it and you was happy when you really bought it. Because he don't have nothing. So you taking care of him. Sis, why wouldn't he leave you alone? I wouldn't leave you alone. If you was taking care of me and I was doing you dirty and I was a narcissist. What? Sometimes this is what I was saying. Guys, sometimes you got to speak things loud to yourself and hear it so it can register to you. So you could be, because some things that I say, I'd be like, oh, snap. And I have to laugh because everything, guys, everything that the narcissist did to us, we allowed. Some of you on here like, no, I didn't. I ain't allow it. If you took him back, you allowed it. If you took her back, you allowed it. Every time the narcissist cheat on me and I caught him because God will always expose. Like, see, I told you not to deal with him. So the God will always expose everything the narcissist was doing, sneaky. And I took him back. I allowed it. He cheated again. And I took him back. The girl came and told me. And I took him back. The prostitute came and told me. 
and I took them back. God gave me dreams and I took them back. So I allowed it. You allowed it. My mother always said this to me growing up. I'll never forget. Don't never leave a man until you really ready to leave and not go out. And let me explain why she said that. She said, because once you leave a man, you break up with him and he did something that was distraught to you and you take him back. He does not have respect for you. So she used to tell me, don't leave until you ready to leave. So your exit could be louder than your staying. So guys, I just wanted to come on and tell you this. To your own self, be true. You don't have to be in denial that the narcissist did us dirty. It don't make you less than. It just made us realize that we, we give ourselves to people that is not deserving. You're, we're gallons of water and we deal with quarts. And we're looking for love from a quart. And we're a gallon. So if we call... If we pour, just say even, I'm going to go even lower, a half a pint of water. Or let's just say we're a gallon of milk, a half a pint of milk in a, ga a, a, a empty um gallon. It don't even fill us up. We look to people to fill us up that, that, that can't even fill the capacity of what we need. So we try to um overcompensate. Things for us and give them credit. Oh, that was good. That thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me say that again. We overcompensate for what we're missing and we give them credit for the things we overcompensate for in our own lives. But we gave the narcissist credit to make them look good. And after a while, we started believing that our overcompensation for our own self of what we need that we gave them credit for. I pray that you understand that because I don't even know if I can repeat that again. That's how you know flesh and blood did not reveal that to me. So guys, I love you. I love you so much. Guys, and I want everybody to be all right. You know why? Because that is God desire that no man be lost, right? So we have to seek him. The Bible says if we seek him, we will find him. Seek him. Ask him for clarity. And this time, don't ignore the sign. I love you guys. Remember, today is a good day to have a great day. In Christ Jesus, pray, repent, pray, fast. Fast, repent, pray. Whatever order you want to do that in, just do it. Read your word. I love you. Have a fantastic day.